Okay, Hopkins Community Church. Here is the second part of of part of sex of segment three of the State of the Church. This is three B, and it really has to do with the Vision Twenty Twenty final report for the RCA, the Reformed Church in America, which is the denomination with which our church is affiliated. Um, now, this is there, there's a couple of things to read here actually, and 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 you can see those in the actual blog post. Uh, there's a link in the description below for the blog post. Um, and those are their long reads. So that the there first of all, there is a history. It's called a brief history, brief history of where the RCA has been around the, at the topic of human sexuality. Uh, particularly, it says homosexuality because that's kind of where this started. Uh, this started all the way back in 1978. Uh, but that this the topic has evolved over time, uh, over the last 40 to 50, 45 years, whatever. Uh, into a larger conversation about human sexuality in general, um, and so uh, don't don't be limited in your scope of thinking. Oh, this is just about um, homosexuality. This is really a conversation about human sexuality in general. Uh, so there's a, there's a history, and it, it talks about all of the general synod, which is general synod is the national gathering, uh, the national assembly of the Reformed Church in America. Uh, and and the, the, the interactions that the General Synod has had around uh, the topic of human sexuality since 1978, when it first became uh, a thing that that was addressed at General Synod. So that's the one document. There's another document that you'll find online. Uh, there's a link to it that, that gets into the history of what the Vision 2020 team is about and why they were appointed and what they were supposed to do. And then the third one is another long document uh, that has to do with the Vision 2020 team's final report to General Synod, which was supposed to be this year, uh, June of 2020. That got canceled because of COVID and all that. So, um, yeah, right. So now we have we have another 10 months before we actually get to do anything real with this document uh, on the the, the denomination wide level. Um, so, brief history, uh, from from my perspective at least. So. Uh, there have been, this is the, the Vision 2020 team is a third attempt at creating a group that would be able to determine a way forward for the domination. We've, we've done this two other times in the, the 20 teens. Uh, so in the last 10 years, um, the Vision 2020 team is kind of the latest uh, derivation of that. And uh, they were tasked with identifying, finding a way forward for the denomination. We've kind of been caught between, uh, we've just caught at this impasse. Uh, a lot of people, uh, I would say, I hate to use words that, that are so politically charged, but I, I don't have a, a better uh, a better way. A lot of people that take a conservative view of, of human sexuality would ha really want the RCA to make a statement um, about uh, what the RCA believes regarding human sexuality, sexuality particularly around the, the issue of marriage. So is the RCA willing to solemnize uh, homosexual uh, unions, essentially. Um, and, and really, actually, that's, it's, a, it's a much bigger question because of uh, the, the reality of, of the, the, the enormity of the, the human sexuality conversation. Um, the reality that uh, there, there's just so many. It's, it was LGBT, and, and now it's... LGBTQQIA and plus and, and so on and so forth. And now now there's even conversations about polyamory and things. Anyways, the, the, it's it's all kind of besides the point. Uh, is the RCA what does the RCA say about human sexuality? What does the RCA say that the Bible says about human sexuality? That's really what uh, what they, the the conservative uh, people that take a conservative viewpoint on, on human sexuality want is a conservative statement saying. That the RC that the, the RCA believes that marriage uh, is Christian marriage is between one man and one woman, and that if you're going to be ordained as a pastor within the RCA, that you cannot be openly homosexual or in an openly homosexual relationship, uh, or yeah, openly in a homosexual relationship. So that is really what the the conservative side wants. The 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 not conservative sides, I guess, you know, again, right, politically charged statement, uh, usage of, of terms. The liberal side would uh, would argue for a, um, a not, uh, essentially a view that says that um, 
marriage is, is, is marriage and, and, and anybody can be married, essentially. Uh, uh, particularly in, in, in the homosexual relationships, but um, obviously that, again, has ballooned into a, a much larger conversation. Um, so that's, that's really what, that's really the impasse. We haven't been able to actually, the, the, the denomination has not been able to make a statement either way. There have been lots of attempts, as you'd see, if you see, if you read that document, there's lots of attempts, uh, but we've never gotten there as far as how the voting structure works in the RCA. And the RCA is really dealing with like a whole host of issues. Our structure doesn't support the function that we need it to anymore uh, because of the way that um, classes work and the way that our voting it works and uh, you know needing two thirds and always being just a little bit short and so on and so forth for for passing anything that is going to be binding within the RCA and 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 so the the Vision 2020 team really was designed it was uh, it was it was um, it was put together to to determine a way forward and and that is um, kind of well, that's what really brought this whole thing about. And, and that is, um, yeah, so what, I think what a lot of people were really hoping for was that it would determine a way forward, that, that we would make a statement. This is how we're going to make that statement. And this is, what, you know, da, 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 da. But what actually happened is that the Vision 20 team, Vision 2020 team, realized the reality that is present in the RCA, that we've already tried to do this. We've actually tried to do it a, a whole host of times, and we've never actually been able to make any sort of conservative statement and trying to do that again would literally be like doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, and because we realized that that wasn't actually going to happen, uh, because they realized it wasn't actually going to happen, they determined that not making a statement was, was going to have impacts within the denomination. And so they decided to address those impacts rather than address the, the presenting issue, which is the topic of human sexuality. So that's what you're going to read in the, the Vision 2020 report. You're not going to read any sort of, um, you're not gonna read any sort of, of suggestion on a statement of, of belief or anything when it comes to the topic of human sexuality. You're going to read recommendations and how we deal with the impasse within the denomination. Um, Recommendation number one is um, essentially stating we're at an impasse and things need to change, but that change shouldn't happen until the host of churches who have essentially been threatening to leave for a long time. Anyways, these are largely, I would say again, conservative uh, minded churches, people that take a traditional view of marriage. Um, uh, want They want to leave because there is no statement and no statement is not okay. Um, when it comes to the, our, our interactions with the culture and, and how we view what scripture says about things. Um, so no statement is a statement uh, in, in a lot of people's minds. And so um, essentially it's saying the reality is we, we, we aren't able to make a statement. In our current structure, we're not able to make a statement. So let's let those who are going to leave, leave. And then when the dust settles, let's restructure the RCA to make it a leaner, more functional denomination. So that's recommendation number one. Recommendation number two essentially says, it, it, it kind of comes out of nowhere if you don't have any context. It essentially says RCA Global Missions, which is the missional arm of the RCA. It's the one that does all the missionary support. Pastor Jim is, is very familiar with Global Missions, um, but they are the ones who do the work of, of helping our RCA missionaries to be supported and all that stuff. Recognizing that the RCA is going to, it is, I mean, it's, it's only a matter of time at this point in time, is going to fracture in some way, shape or form. And there is going to be a, a split. It might be a, uh, just two ways, it might be three ways, we have no idea at this point in time. Uh, but the reality is, is that it's going to split. But we have this common connection, which is our love for missions and missionary. That is just something that is core to the denomination's values. Um, and it's been something that's been around in the denomination for a long, long, long time. So what they're saying is take this global mission, RCA global missions, take it out of the RCA, make it its own 501c3, and then uh, its own nonprofit, essentially. And then it can be supported by the RCA in whatever form it takes after the mass exodus happens, after the, the, the fracture takes place. And it could also be supported by other denominational groups as well. 
Um, and that way it makes it a non-political, non-left or right or conservative or liberal or anything like that. It makes it completely uh, sort of irrelevant to the conversation. The reality is, is that this is a global mission organization, but which fo is focusing on, on, on church development, planting churches, bringing Jesus uh, to the whole world. Um, something that, I, I mean, right, something that I would hope that every single church that is a church of Jesus Christ could get behind. So um, that's the second recommendation. The third recommendation isn't actually uh, in writing yet, but the, the bones of the third recommendation are essentially saying we need to be generous in the way that we love each other through this transition. Um, and that goes, that is, it, this is particularly true for uh, traditionally minded churches, conservatively minded churches that find themselves in uh, progressive slash liberal classes where uh, the classes, which is the one that controls the church, could be uh, a, a, a fairly big bully to a conservative church. Like, oh, you want to leave the denomination? Well, you can, but you can't have your church, you can't have your finances, can't have anything. Uh, so you can take your people and go, that kind of a thing. Essentially, the framework for recommendation number three is going to put the kibosh on anything like that and say, this is the framework for leaving in this moment. Uh, and it talks about like paying two years of dues and things like that. Now, these things are up to every individual classes. And, um, and, and the, the idea is that this would, this would be like a, a sort of minimum standard uh, for, for all classes, all classes when it comes to churches leaving the denomination. Um, it'll make the path relatively easy. It it's, tends to be a bit of a complicated process, but it'll make the path relatively easy. And it will, it will essentially enforce uh, a, a generosity of spirit between churches and classes. Um, so that, that's really the whole, the whole g gist of it. Um, you can read it. It's a long read. Um, it has a lot. It, there's a lot there. And I, um, man, it's a, Personally, uh, personally, I, I find this the report to be relatively disappointing because I was really hoping that the RC would take a stand on this on this topic. Um, but I think the reality is just the reality, and and we have to we kind of have to just grapple with that. And so, the, the reason that this is part B, and and why these why the statement of faith and the the Vision 2020 team thing go hand in hand is because again, like I said at the end of the last video, we knew this was coming. And so now we as a congregation are going to be forced to make a decision. We can stay where we are and, and kind of stand pat and just let it be what it is. Or we have to maybe have to decide, are we able to be in a denomination that either doesn't have a statement regarding the conversation around human sexuality or is willing to just kind of let anybody do whatever they want um because the reality is quite simply this isn't going to be the last issue the last conflict the last anything that we ever face and if uh as as a church we don't feel like we can remain in a uh in, in, a, in a denominational relationship and affiliation with the rca um, we have to decide what we're going to do and how we're going to go about it and that is a conversation that is much bigger than the purview of this video, certainly, um, but it is definitely uh, it is definitely on the horizon uh, for us as Hopkins Community Church. So um, I commend these documents to you. Uh, I um, I take <laughs> I take no responsibility for the amount of time that you have to read for them because they are long and they are arduous um, and. In, in some cases, they're very disappointing, um, but they are the reality of, of where we find ourselves as a church in a particular denomination in conflict right now. Um, I, I've i been in a lot of conversations with our classes leadership team. Um, I am actually headed to another meeting again uh, tomorrow, the, the 5th of August. Um, and uh, I've been in a number of, of Zoom meetings and other meetings with um, denominational leaders and, and people who are exploring the possibility of new denominations and, and what that could look like and so on and so forth. So I, I, there's a lot going on here and it's changing constantly. 
um, and, and new stuff is coming out constantly. Um, and, and so it, it's going to, I don't know what's going to happen yet. And I don't, I don't even know what the best course of action could be yet. Um, but as I know more, I will bring more information to you and keep you as updated as I can. And, um, yeah, we'll just, we will see ultimately where the Lord leads us in this time, because most of this is a, is a, just a, a big distraction from ministry. And, um, I bring it to you as information I've committed to continuing to keep you informed. Um, but I also, under no circumstances, do I want this to derail the ministry of Hopkins Community Church, um, we are seeing momentum in our ministries, even in the midst of COVID. We are seeing uh, growth on, on many, many levels. And, and I'm really excited for what the future has in, 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 in 2020 and, and in this next decade as we move into ministry. And, um, you know, it's just like Satan to, to bring conflict to a head uh, right in the midst of, of things like this. So, um, yeah, I will be in touch with information as I have it. And again, we will have some district meetings coming up. Um, I hope uh, end of September, early October, that we can um, start to have some bigger conversations about this, that you can ask questions and, and things like that. Um, however, if you have questions now, feel free to email me, feel free to post those questions in the comments below, um, and, and we will um, answer them to the best of our ability. So um, uh, may God bless you and keep you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, enjoy these beautiful temperatures. Uh, man, it's just gorgeous outside right now. Um, and we'll see you Sunday. Blessings.